My name is Brooke Pondo and I'm one of the registered dietitians here at the hospital. Um, today I'm going to be demoing how to make a maple coconut kale salad. So this salad is nutrient dense and it's light and refreshing. So it's a perfect salad to bring for lunch or to your friends get together this summertime. So the ingredients needed for the salad are kale, mango cubes, um, toasted shaved almonds, coconut flakes. You can choose sweetened or unsweetened, but at the hospital we choose to use sweetened only because it gives the, the salad a little bit better of a taste. Um, olive oil, salt, pepper, lemon juice, and honey. All right, so we're gonna start by um, putting the kale in a bowl, which I already have done. You wanna make sure that you wash the kale very good because um, if you don't, the dirt will get caught in the leaves and it can have a very gritty, gritty taste and it'll just ruin the whole taste of the salad. Um, you will start by adding the lemon juice, which I've already have everything pre-measured here. I have the, I have the exact me uh, measurements on the, um, recipe cards over there for you to take home. So you add the lemon juice, the olive oil, and then just a pinch of salt. All right. So kale by itself is pretty bitter and tough to eat. So it's very important that you massage your kale. And I know that that sounds kind of funny giving your salad a spa day, but um, it's important because um, when you do massage the kale, it changes the flavor of the kale. So it makes it taste a little bit less bitter. And it also changes the color of your kale. It makes it a little bit darker green as well. So you're gonna massage the kale. Um, you wanna make sure to add an acidic solution when you are massaging the kale. So that can be a vinegar, a vinaigrette, or in this case, we added the lemon juice, um, and that increases that massaging efficacy, so it breaks down what's called cellulose, and that's found in a lot of um, plants, which helps maintain plant structures. So when you, break, when you break that cellulose down, it changes the taste of the kale, which gives it a more, um, more palatable taste to your salad instead of being so bitter. So you wanna massage the kale for about one to two minutes, um, a little bit less time, if you're making a smaller batch and then of course more time if you're making a larger batch and it's almost similar to like washing your hair you put the kale in your hand and you run it run it through your fingers um, for about one to two minutes i'm going to continue to do that but kale is also known to be a superfood so it's a hot topic when it comes to nutrition um, everybody adds kale to their their smoothies to their salads the reason it's such a hot topic when it comes to nutrition is because just one cup of kale offers so much nutrition, um, which is important um, for us to, to be taking in. So there's three vitamins that kale is rich in, and that is vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin K. So vitamin A is very important because it helps maintain our vision, our bones, um, and our skin as well. And one cup of kale offers 134%, or 133%, I'm sorry, of the daily recommended value of vitamin A. Um, one cup of kale also offers about 134% of the daily recommended, vitam, re, daily recommended value of vitamin C as well. And vitamin C is a very powerful antioxidant, so that helps keep our immune system strong. So with the flu, you know, still kind of lingering in Wisconsin, if you eat your kale, you can prevent, prevent yourself from getting the flu, hopefully. <laughs> and then one cup of kale also offers 684% of the daily recommended value of vitamin K. Um, so vitamin K is important because it helps um, clot your blood. So if you get a paper cut, you just don't continue continue to bleed. It only bleeds for a couple seconds before your blood clots and stops that bleeding. And it's also important for um, for bone metabolism. So th those daily recommended values are based off of a 2,000 calorie diet. So you might need a little bit more um, or a little bit less depending on your caloric needs. But that's just the basis um, when you look at a nutrition label of what those daily recommended values go off of. And then I got all those all those vitamin um, vitamin and, um, from the USDA website, so that's a very reputable website to look if you want to know more more about which vitamins kale offers. But that's not it. Kale also offers a lot of um, different minerals such as calcium, magnesium, and potassium. So calcium, I'm sure you know, helps with your bones and teeth. Everyone always recommends that you drink your milk to get your your calcium intake in, but you can also your calcium intake in by eating kale. Um, it also offers a good amount of magnesium. So magnesium is very important because um, it um, reduces your risk of getting type 2 diabetes and it also reduces your risk of heart disease. And a lot of people um, here in America have, don't get enough magnesium intake in daily. So if you eat your kale, you definitely can. <laughs> um, 
And it also offers a good amount of potassium, which is important because people that have a good intake of potassium typically have lower blood pressures and it also reduces your risk of heart disease as well. So if that doesn't make you want to eat your kale every week, then <laughs> there's one more um, benefit that kale offers, which is it's a weight loss friendly food. So if you're if you're looking to lose weight, um, one cup of kale only has 33 calories, so it makes it a very low calorie food, um, but it also provides a lot of bulk to your diet. So adding, adding that kale in your diet will help you feel full, full longer. So one hour after you eat your cup of kale, you won't probably be reaching for that candy bar or for that bag of chips after lunchtime. So, so with all those vitamins, minerals, and it being a weight friend, loss friendly food, I don't know why you want to eat kale every week. <laughs> but so now after I'm done massaging the kale, I'll show you. It's a little bit darker in color. And um, if I were to pop some of this in my mouth right now, which I won't do, um, but it would, it has a very reduced bitter taste. So if you just eat kale before massaging it and adding those, that acidic solution, it's very bitter. So it just changes the taste altogether. So next, I am going to add mango cubes. So these are just frozen mango cubes um, that I've got before, before we started our food demo. You add mango cubes, your co coconut flakes. We, and like I mentioned, we use sweetened co coconut flakes, but if you don't like that sweet taste, you can also choose the unsweetened coconut flakes as well. And then um, these are just some shaved almonds that we toasted right before we started the um, food demo. So you, you turn your oven on to 350 degrees and you toast them for about five to six minutes so they're nice and, nice and brown. Um, we added just a little bit of oil to them to help, but it doesn't need, you don't need to add a whole bunch of oil because you don't want them to be soggy or soft. So just a little bit goes a long way. I'm going to mix this all together. up very nice then you can add a little bit of pepper for seasoning and last but not least the honey to give your salad a nice sweet sweet taste so the this salad doesn't really need any um, salad dressing because the honey and the olive oil is for a nice um, healthier um, salad dressing option Mix this all together. And you have your, your kale salad. So we do you have this in the cafeteria um, today, but first before you, if you wanted, if you didn't want to purchase any in the cafeteria right away, you can sample it because it's delicious. It'll make you definitely um, want to make this at home or even on the weeks that we provide it at the hospital, you can come down and grab some from the hospital.